Hey guys, Kyle Detman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we're doing a quick short video of a 2007 Winnebago Sightseer. Uh, the 29R just came in, so we'll get you on the outside. We'll get you inside. We'll do a couple, uh, show you a couple things going on with it, and we'll see what you think. So, starting up front here, really nice two-piece windshield. Um, this one does have a small chip in it. I don't know if you can see it, we'll try to get it a little closer. Um, but something you could probably fill in with an auto glass company. Pretty affordable to do it that way instead of replacing the whole windshield, like I said, with a two piece. If anything were to happen down the road, you got the two piece on it. This is on the Triton V10. You got side cameras on here. Tires are dated to 2020, so good time left on the tires, good tread on there. Really like this where you got, we got slide toppers up top and then on the base of the slide out, you can see your storage compartments flip up and they come off of the, the wall here. They're not tucked under. So getting at the storage with the slide out is gonna be really nice and convenient for you as well. So kind of walk you through. Uh, what I really like with this uh, 2007, notice there's not a whole lot of rust or much going on around the storage doors. Really clean that previous customers kept really good care of this. Got your hot water heater and furnace out back here. Your black and gray tank down here. You got a light inside. And then notice all these storage doors, sometimes with these older units, some of those struts kind of wear out. All these are still in good condition and they're all holding up. Move this out of the way. All those guys are holding up all by themselves still, which is really nice. Water station bay right in here. More storage around the back side. And then another really nice thing is in this storage bay, spare tire in here as well. So that's coming on board. Come around the back side, ladder to get up to the one piece fiberglass roof. You do have a backup camera in there, so we'll show you the screen on the inside as well. Really good condition back here. Um, not a lot of cracking or peeling on any of the decals either, which is really nice. There is partial paint on some of this, um, but those decals are in really good shape as well. You got yourself the Onan 4000 generator. Um, that fires up there. More storage. You got your awning up there that does have a little bit of cracking in the awning. There is some stuff kind of going on here. But actually pretty decent condition on the awning on the rest of it. It is a manual awning. But again, notice the decals are all in really good shape. We'll get some more of these storage doors open here. So all these hold up. Propane tank on board. This little table here will kind of plug in right by this outdoor stereo. Give you a space out here to kind of, maybe if you're doing some grilling or just prepping space outside. You got your porch light up top. Jacks on here as well. All right, let's head inside. So coming in, right as you walk in, a couple little catch-all counter, some storage right here. Also going to have your porch, ceiling lights, your steps, um, your uh, auxiliary battery, and all that kind of stuff right here for you. Ceiling lights right as you walk in. Also, you do have a privacy screen on the door right as you walk in too. You can pull that down. Speakers inside. Now, really nice booth, dinette, table, connected to the wall, really sturdy. You know, minimal wear and tear on the cushions. Those are all in really good condition still. 
the captain's chairs and passenger chair in really great condition. Sometimes you're going to see cracking on the headpiece or kind of on the armrest, but these are all in great condition. So that's the passenger, the captain's chair. Great condition here. 32,180 miles on this rig. Let's see if we can get a little better close up on the inside. There's that little crack in the windshield. Except the dash is nice. It does have a little bit of a water spot in the ceiling. There was a little puncture in the roof, maybe from a stick, but we've uh, sealed that and, and fixed that up. So that should be good to go. And then there is another one. Probably happened at the same time, same stick, something. But there is another one by this vent. So kind of back up, you can see right here. But again, those both have been fixed and taken care of. Um, our tech said the rest of the roof looked really great. So the nice thing with these older motor homes is you're gonna have actual real wood, solid doors. Notice all those struts are all really good too. Everything holds up. We'll come around to the other side above the couch. We'll pop those all up. Those all stay. So that's really nice. You got your couch for extra seating, extra sleeping. One hand, pop this up, push it down. So this motorhome will sleep six people, you know, two on here. Maybe two people on the dinette, depending on the size of them. You know, five comfortably, six if you got a couple of littles or something, but really nice couch there. Both the chairs up front will swivel around. You do have the old school screen, but you have a backup camera and two side cameras. We'll kind of fire this guy up here quick and, and show you that screen. It's beeping right now because the jacks are down. Just letting you know, hey, you started your rig, jacks are down, don't go anywhere. <laughs> so that's all that is. But here's that backup screen right there for you. So the backup camera's working. We'll turn on the left blinker. And you can see the screen switch over to the left side. Turn it on the right blinker. See the screen switching over there as well. So those are all working for you, which is really nice. We'll shut that back off. So you got that going on. Close these guys back up. Uh, back in the kitchen. You flip this up. Stove is really clean. Looks like they never used it. You got a little oven in here. Nice storage drawer right below that. And then the kitchen. Nice, really solid pull-out storage drawers as well. Under the sink, good spot for a small garbage can. You got your two basin sink here with a nice sink cover to give you extra counter extension. Faucet is a pull-out faucet. Overhead storage as well. And then to the side. Microwave. Microwave works. Well, we just hit that. <laughs> we'll give it a little more time. You can see the microwave working. That's running here for you, so. Um, windows, I'm gonna show you those. The shades on here, you get the nice pull down shade. So this is kind of the daytime shade, still get a little light through, and then double pull down, that's gonna give you the nighttime shade. So day nighttime shades, those are really nice. Those all stay up as well. Refrigerator had this plugged in since this morning fridge is working nice and cold in the freezer this is an auto gas electric kind of both ways there you got your thermostat you got your uh, water heater water pump generator start stop let's see if we can fire that up generator kicks over you got 139.7 uh, hours on the generator. So that fired up. We'll 
let's kind of shut that off. Slide room buttons are gonna be right here for your main slide and then for your bedroom slide are gonna be back in the bedroom. Um, kind of got a separate bathroom and shower area. So we'll kind of show you the shower. You got a light in the shower, sky dome. You do have a bar in here if you want to do any extra hanging or swimsuits, bath towels, any of that stuff can you know hang and dry here right over the tub. Kind of got that cool seashell look. So when you drive this thing down to California, Florida, near the beach, when you're in the shower, you'll feel right at home too. So very nice shower. Looks like they have replaced the shower head on there. That looks new, newer than 2007. <laughs> Over on the toilet side of things, really nice countertop. You got your big deep basin sink, toilet, spot to hang a towel, vent with a fan. It is ducted for AC in here. You got a nice mirror to make sure everything is looking good before you head out. Really nice cabinetry in here as well for storage. And then down below, pull out drawers. And then these all lock into play. And then even a spot down here if you want to throw another garbage can. Back into the bedroom. Slide out in the bedroom, so you got your slide out button in here, right here for you. If uh, kind of notice, if you leave this door open, you could probably add a magnet onto the back if you wanted to to keep this in spot. Otherwise, it does just stay there. And then you do have this accordion door that you can slide and do more privacy. We'll kind of back up and show you. So you could make it one big bathroom and close it all off and have the privacy for you there or be able to just close this off with a bedroom which would be nice for you little desk counter spot get ready spot in the morning appropriate hookups over here in case you need to plug in any hair dryers or anything like that a nice light a little cubby for a tv up there if you wanted to um do it there and then some really nice wardrobe storage in here as well. You got three big doors, a lot of space with the light. Another door on this side. Let's see, let's kind of back up a little bit to show you. Big, deep pull-out drawers in here as well. So, you got two big deep ones and then six littler guys over here. And that looks like this is set up to have this light. Just kind of when the door closes, push that in. When the door opens, you get light. That's kind of neat. Nice art decor already on the rig for you. The bed, it looks like might be a queen. Um, there's a little bit of space on both sides, so if you need a little wider bed, you do have a little space there. Nice reading lights and plug-ins, little nightstands on both sides as well. Might have some speakers back here. Overhead, oh, these ones are all good too. They all hold up. So that's really nice. And then, up under the bed, you got some really good storage down here too. So, under the bed you'll have storage. Those struts are solid for you. And then down below, really deep pull drawers on the side of the bed. And let's see, and that's going to be on both sides so give you one more quick little kind of walk through from the bedroom turn it around into the bathroom and back out into the living space here so 
microwave is still beeping at us when we ran it. So yeah, great 2007 Winnebago sights here. Again, my name is Kyle Dibbon. Give me a call if you have any questions. 218-740-4964. Otherwise, my email will be down there too. But again, always smash that like button, subscribe, do all the things YouTube likes. We really appreciate you watching. Um, thanks for the support, and we'll see you on the next one.